All right, so Mr. G, we did it. We soldered on all the leads that we need to do. And here's a fun thing that I just thought of. Yeah. We can verify it. Oh, let's do it. Let's get that voltmeter and let's just, we can check a couple of them that we're, you know, kind of expecting, you know? So this will plug in like this, right? So if we wanted to check everything, make sure we're nicey nice, right? You have your zero. I'll hold it for you. Yeah, this should be. Okay, there you go. Zero volts. This should be uh, 4.2. Beautiful. So Do this the whole should, thing. This should be our max. Good. Wow. We haven't working. we haven't messed it up too much. Wow. Uh, then go one by one. No. Yeah. Let's see. Make sure we got a good connection. You know. So this is a nice way that you can just verify everything works. And this is what the BMS is doing just constantly is it's monitoring the voltage uh, of each of these, and that lets it know because it can basically compare it to. The, the one next to it as it adds up, and that lets it know if one of these is uh, too low, too high, and it adjusts the current accordingly. All right, cool. So we got everything uh, soldered on here. So now I just take this and I, and I plug it in and, and then we're charging, right? No, no, no. <laughs> you still gotta put three more wires on there, connecting to the charger, connecting to the battery, and connecting to the load. Okay. And then, oh, because I can't, there's no, it's, this isn't like magic. This doesn't, this isn't full of energy. I have to get energy in here. <laughs> All right. No, we still have to connect to the charger and we still have to connect to the load. Uh, but we're going to go on the negative side through the BMS because it's going to limit the top and the bottom. And it's going to also going to limit the amount of current draw. So it's going to be in charge of charging. That's why we're not connecting anything directly to the battery. It's always going through this. Right. We need to manage it. Right. It's about so it's balance. Like, so the battery is like, I'm not, I'm not taking any charge unless you talk to my BMS. Yeah. Talk to my guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm have not my, signing anything unless I talk to my lawyer. Listen, I'll have my, uh, your, have your people talk to my people. <laughs> my people, right. right. Yeah, that's how it, okay, so that's how it goes. All right, so we got the C minus, the P minus, and the B minus. Okay, okay. so what is, what is, what are we connecting Okay, so where? all of it represents something. So C minus is charge, the negative side of the charger. Okay. Okay. And that goes to whatever we're charging with. Yeah, so you're, let's say you're plugging into the wall and there'll be a box just like when you're charging your laptop and then the coming out is going to be DC. And that's going to be And the negative going side goes to here. To the, to the C. Right. Okay, then we have the P. What's that? P is power. So you got to go negative side to the load. To when our someone says motor. load, it's the application, so the motor. Okay, cool. And then the B minus. B minus is battery negative, which be most negative in this case. Right there. Right. Cool. All right, so let's... Solder this up. Okay. We'll oh, just no, no. snip the end off and solder it right onto there, right? Actually, we should no, just clip it, huh? Slow down there, Jesse. Well, well, what? <laughs> well, you could clip it on there, but this wire is a very small diameter pipe. It will not handle the amount of amps, and this would actually act as a fuse. It would heat up, and it would actually break. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Mr. G, how can you prove that this is going to be a problem, that having a little wire is going to be a problem? Destruction! All right. Okay, well, let's, let's see. <laughs> let's so, try it, we, you know. Okay. So, hey, listen, man. You know, failure's a chance to learn. Oh. Yeah. Hey, nice poster. You see this guy? Yeah. <laughs> He's serious, man. <laughs> yeah. So what do we need to do to prove this? Okay, so let's do a very thick wire going to a thin wire. I got my friend, the helping hand. Cause you, you don't know. want to hold this, huh? No, no, definitely Wimp. not. It's going to be like a fuse. It'll just, okay. you know? And uh, this guy here, uh, people just abuse him all day long and he just holds it. So we're going to need to get some leads off of this battery, right? Yeah, we got to okay. solder it in first. Okay. Okay, so let's get, let's uh, strip this down. So why is this so thick? So the, you, for more electrons, you need a larger uh, diameter uh, wire. Okay. The, the analogy I would use is it's like, imagine all, all you yeah, know, I'm from Jersey. So, you know, everybody lines up to get to the Lincoln Tunnel and you got all these people, uh, 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 but basically they're like electrons. And when they funnel in and they funnel in everyone in their cars, cursing the bridge. They're like, ah, oh, this traffic. They're getting hot. They're getting upset. They're getting mad. And the same thing with electrons. When you force electrons through a small diameter tube, they're going to get mad. So this is the Lincoln Tunnel. This is the Lincoln Tunnel. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're going to need to connect this up here, right? Yeah. Right mm -hmm. to there. 
And once you get it started, it's gonna go. There you go, leave the heat in there. Oh yeah. It's coming through now. Now you're talking. Add, 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 add. And leave the heat for a second. Okay, then stop adding. Just let it, let it, let it, let it, let it. And I don't know. You're good, probably. A little more. Yeah. So we're just gonna add a bit of strain relief so that way we don't pull this cord off accidentally. All right, so now we're gonna do uh, a red red cable, huh? Oh yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, so Mr. G, we have we have a positive terminal mm -hmm. and we have a negative terminal. This is starting to look like a battery. So what are we gonna do here? We we have this thin wire. Um, so you're saying that basically I can't use thin wire to hook up the battery. And yeah. you're gonna prove to me why using this? Yeah, so what I'm showing is that these larger wires will be unaffected, but the small wire will probably burn up like a fuse. Okay, so let's, uh, we're gonna see how that works. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Where'd the end of the wire go? It's gone! <laughs> Wait a minute. Dude, it vaporized the wire! All right, pull off the end here. What the? There used to be a whole thing. Oh my gosh, I found it. Look at these little molten globs. We should have been wearing gloves. I'm Let's... doing the whole wire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Whoa. It's green. Look. Whoa, it's gone. Yeah. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The little molten guy. Whoa. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh my gosh. All right, great. And look at all this damage that we did, even to this wire. Yeah. I mean, so you can see a little bit of aluminum still stuck on the end there. Mm -hmm. So we definitely can't like take the power out of this battery using wires that small. Right, because you could, you could add power, maybe a low amperage, but once you get into the high amps, which when you're dead short, you're high amps, mm -hmm. that's when you're able to melt wires. Because imagine if I was able to, through voltage, if I was able to force everyone through the Lincoln Tunnel all at once, <laughs> I think we would melt the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, so that's why we're using these big thick wires. Yeah. There you go. Stay, 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 and no heat, and I'm staying. Thank you. This is where the blowing might help, yeah. yeah. Is it seeping in? Yeah, leave the heat. Yeah, get it out. That's it, perfect. Looks awesome, fill the circle. All right, so we're just wrapping this up with some electrical tape to make sure that we're not gonna accidentally short out the battery, because that would be uh, pretty bad. So just a little, a little bit goes a long way, you know? There, cut, snip it. All right, so. Beautiful. Now we have our battery pack. We've covered the terminals, so everything is ah, nice and, ah, ah. <laughs> everything's nice and safe, um, tucked away behind this electrical tape. <laughs> Are we ready to hook up our BMS? Yes. So we will plug this into the BMS, and then we will have a battery that is ready to be charged. Yeah, so here's our most negative. Yep. Most negative into the BMS. Then our charger uh, leg, call it a leg. This can go to the charger or most positive to our application. And then this is that's the, it. so this one is where yeah, we're gonna so actually go into the- The short load. one's going to the charger and the, sh then the yeah. long one's going to our application. Our yeah. load, exactly. The load, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm, think? Gonna, I'm excited. All right, so I'm gonna good. plug this guy in. You know who to blame. Ooh, what was that? That was just the plastic. Uh, oh. Whoa! Oh. It's lighting up! <gasps> Some of these were over 4.2 volts, so mm -hmm. they are fully charged. Uh, the rest of them are not fully charged. So, and they would 
what I would think is that anything that's red right now is actually being discharged and balanced. Yeah. All right, so we got our BMS hooked up. We got our positive, we got our negative. Let's hook this thing up. Whoa, you still gotta put a fuse in there. Are you, are you kidding me? We just <laughs> did all this. We built a battery pack, we put on the BMS. We made sure we got the copper, we got the nickel strips. I mean, Jesse, you gotta protect it with a fuse. Well, how does that work? What do you mean? Find out what that means in the next episode of Conversion Garage.